Okay, I'm going to do a video proving that racial separation is a biblical scriptural doctrine. So I'm going to go over a couple verses proving that. First one is in Genesis chapter 10, verses 31 and 32. Go in there in your King James Bibles. Genesis chapter 10, verses 31 and 32. It says, These are the sons of Shem after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. These are the families of the sons of Noah after their generations and their nations, and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. So they were divided. You know, they were separated. And in Genesis chapter 11, verse 6 to 9, go there. Genesis chapter 11, verse 6 to 9, says, talking about the Tower of Babel, And the Lord said, Behold, these people are one, or the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begun to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Go go to, let us go down, not the best at reading on a computer, and they are confounded in their language, or confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon, upon the face of the earth, or of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore this name, or is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there conf confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. He scattered them. He separated them. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 7 to 9. Go there. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 7 to 9. Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee, thy elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob, is the lot of his inheritance. And then there's another strong one. 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 51 to 53. 1 Kings chapter 8, verses 51 to 53 near the bottom of the uh, chapter, says, For they, or sorry, uh, there. For they be thy people, and thine inheritance, which thou uh, broughtest forth out of Egypt, from the midst of the furnace of iron, that thy eyes may be upon, or may be open, unto the supplication of thy servant, and unto the supplication of thy people Israel, to hearken unto them, and all that they may uh, call for unto thee, calling upon God. Look at verse 53. For thou didst separate them from among all the people of the earth to be the, thine inheritance, as thou speakest or spakest by the hand of Moses thy servant, when thou broughtest our fathers out of Egypt, O Lord God. Hmm. He separated them. And of course, Acts 17.26 is the one that the pro-integration Christians will always run to, well, professing Christians will always run to, to try to prove that uh, racial integration is okay. Acts 17.26 it says, and they, and they won't they'll read part of the verse, but they won't read the full verse, and I'll show you why. Acts 17, 26, And hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth. And they'll stop right there. They'll say, see, we're all of one blood. Um, keep reading the rest of the verse. And hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. Hmm. The bounds of their habitation. He separated the sons of Adam. Racial separation, it's that simple. So, racial separation is a scriptural concept. And there are many, many other verses. Those are just some of the couple, just a couple of verses I could have gone to. But there are many, many verses that talk about, I mean, Ezra and Nehemiah. Ezra, I think it's Ezra chapter 9, Ezra chapter 10, Ezra chapter 8, Nehemiah 13, and Nehemiah chapter 9. Are really good, strong chapters that just destroy this whole thing of pro-integration, racial integration. It proves it's a heresy. So, uh, don't be deceived by this pro-integration stuff. It's it's satanic. And why I say this pro-integration, uh, racial integration is satanic is because it will lead to the one world government. The Antichrist, he'll use racial integration to bring together all the nations of the earth to form his one world government. That's simple. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.